Hello and welcome back to ST Data. Today, in this video, I want to talk about geometric distribution and its properties like mean and variance. Okay, without further talking, let's get to it. Consider a random experiment that is closely related to the one used in the definition of binomial distribution. Again, assume a series of Bernoulli trials. I mean, independent trials with constant probability P of a success on each trial. However, in a set of a fixed number of trials, trials are conducted until a success is obtained. Let the random variable X denote the number of trials until the first success. In order to clarify what I'm saying, Let's see an example first. The probability that a bit transmitted through a digital transmission channel is received in error is 0.1. Assume that the transmissions are independent events and let the random variable x denote the number of bits transmitted until the first error. Then the probability of x equals 5 is the probability that the first four bits are transmitted correctly and the fifth bit is in error. This event can be denoted as O O O O E, where O denotes an OK bit. Because the trials are independent and the probability of a correct transmission is 0.9, the probability of X equals 5 is equal to 0.9 to the power of 4 times 0.1 that is 0.066. Now, let's see what the geometric probability mass function is. In a series of Bernoulli trials, that is independent trials with constant probability P of a success, the random variable X that equals the number of trials until the first success is a geometric random variable with the parameter p that is between 0 and 1 and the probability mass function of geometric distribution is equal to 1 minus p to the power of x minus 1 times p. Now since we know what the probability mass function of geometric distribution is, let's see a simple example of it. The probability that a wafer contains a large particle of contamination is 0.01. If it is assumed that the wafers are independent, what is the probability that exactly 125 wafers need to be analyzed before a large particle is detected? Let X denote the number of samples analyzed until a large particle is detected. Then x is a geometric random variable with p equals 0.01. So the requested probability is 0.99 to the power of 124 times 0.01. That is 0.0029. Now it's time to see what the mean and the variance of this distribution are. If x is a geometric random variable with parameter p, the expected value of x equals 1 over p and the variance equals 1 minus p over p squared. If we go back to our example about transmitted bits, we can see that with p equals 0.1, the mean number of transmissions until the number of the first error is 1 over 0.1 and that is equal to 10. And the variance of the number of transmissions before the first error is 1 minus 0 0.1 over 0 0.1 squared, and that is equal to 90. But before wrapping up the video, please attend to this point. A geometric random variable has been defined as the number of trials until the first success. However, because the trials are independent, the count of the number of trials until the next success can be started at any trial 
without changing the probability distribution of the random variable. For example, if 100 bits are transmitted, the probability that the first error after the bit 100 occurs on bit 106 is the probability that the next six outcomes are O, 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 E, and this probability is equal to 0.9 to the power of 5 times 0.1, which is identical to the probability that the initial error occurs on bit number 6. The implication of using a geometric model is that the system presumably does not wear out. The probability of an error remains constant for all transmissions. In this sense, the geometric distribution is said to lack any memory. Now it's time to wrap up the video by reviewing what we have learned so far. First, we saw that the geometric distribution is the probability distribution of the number of failures we get by repeating a Bernoulli experiment until we obtain the first success. Then we learned that the geometric probability mass function is 1 minus p to the power of x minus 1 times p. Then we saw its mean and variance which were equal to the following formulas. And that is done. Congratulations. Now you know what the geometric distribution is and you can solve and model real world problems with its help. And remember, for more information about other distributions, you can check out this playlist. Finally, if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you are interested in statistics, data science and machine learning, please consider subscribing to this channel. By the way, if you have a question about the fields I mentioned, comment it down in the comment section. And don't forget to share my videos with your interested friends. I hope this video helped you a lot and until the next video, happy learning!